So OpenAI has finally launched their open source AI model called as GPT OSS and now you can download and locally install it on your computer and start using it right away. So up until now OpenAI was not truly really open it was more like closed AI but now they have their first ever open source model and today in this video I'll show you all about the GPT OSS model and also how to download install and use it locally within your computer without paying for anything it's completely free and the best part is that the performance of the GPT OSS that is the open source version is comparable to that of paid O4 mini is what Sam Altman says and now this right here is the official website of OpenAI and as you can see it says open models by OpenAI advanced open weight reasoning models to customize for any use case and run anywhere and currently we have two variants of the GPT OSS model the one is 120 billion parameters variant and also a 20 billion parameters variant and the 120 billion parameter variant is a large open model designed to run in data centers and on high-end computers like desktops and laptops and the 20 billion parameter variant can be run on most uh, desktops and laptops is what they say and if you do want to learn more about this I'll make sure to leave links to the resources in the description below so you can go check them out yourself and the interesting thing is that if you click on this try our models button right here it will open up the official website of GPT OSS playground which is gpt-oss.com and the interesting thing is that you can actually go ahead and try using both these variant in the interface right here and again it's completely free too for example I can go ahead and ask a question create a simple form for collecting email and password in HTML and if I hit enter watch this and I also enabled reasoning that is show reasoning and as you can see we are currently using GPT OSS 120 billion parameters variant and it is writing all these codes that you see on the screen right now and yet another thing is that the GPT OSS model is actually a reasoning model which means it goes through a reasoning process before answering and if you want to you can actually find the reasoning process by clicking on this button here as well and now if you don't really want to install it on your computer but want to use the GPT OSS model you can head over to this website right here and give it a message and start using it right away and now if you want to let's say see the difference between the 120 billion parameter variant and the 20 billion parameter variant you can actually select both of these and start using from this interface right here and you also have the option to select the reasoning level too and now the primary motive of this video is to install and set up GPT OSS locally on a computer and run the same and to do so you have a couple of options and now if I click on this button called as download on hugging face it will open up the page of GPT OSS on hugging face and here you can click on this use this model option and find a couple of options that you have in here so this right here is the hugging face page and now the easiest way to install and set up GPT OSS is going to be either using Olama or let's say uh, LM studio so in this case I'll show you how we can install it using LM studio and to do so the first thing that you're going to do is to click the link in the description below and head over to lmstudio.ai and basically this is an app that allows you to run open source models on your computer and right now it says open AI's local model GPT OSS is here and it is already live so first thing first go ahead and download this for your computer depending on your operating system so in this case I'm using a Mac so I can click on this button right here and download the installer and in my case I have already installed the same and when you install and open LM studio for the first time you will find an option to download a model and in my case I mean currently GPT OSS is the latest version or let's say the latest model available and in the onboarding flow itself you will find an option to download the same and I just went ahead and downloaded the same directly or you can also click on this button that says select a model to load and after that you can type for it now in my case as you can see I have already installed open AS GPT OSS 20 billion parameters but for example let's say you want to install a different one for example let's say deep seek if you click on this button right here you'll be able to find all these variant and if I type GPT OSS I should be able to find all these variants as well okay and now all you gotta do is to select the GPT OSS variant and after that you will find a download button in here as you can see here we will find a download button and now all you gotta do is to click the button and wait for it to download and now the 120 billion parameters is around 65 GB in size and the 20 billion parameter variant is around 12.11 GB in size all right and now in my case I have already downloaded the same so I'll click on this button called as use in a new chat and now it is loading the GPT OS 20 billion parameters model in LM studio and once it's done you can go ahead and start using it completely for free and that too even without internet connection so let's wait all right so the model is now loaded and the RAM usage is like 11.57 GB and CPU usage is zero for now but that will spike as soon as I send a message and first let's start with a simple hi and I'll hit enter and let's see 
so it's loading and it thought for like 00, zero seconds and as you can see the cpu usage spiked for a brief moment and it says hello how can you help you today and the thing is that the 20 billion variant is reasonably fast on my computer with around 24 gb of ram and next up let me go ahead and ask it to write some code right so i can go ahead and say create a simple html landing page for a web dev agency and now i'll hit enter and now there you go it has started outputting all these tokens out there and as you can see the cpu usage has spiked to like 278 percent and the ram is at 11.37 and the thing is that the 20 billion parameter variant is actually reasonably fast on my computer right here but i'm not sure if i'll be able to run the 120 billion parameter variant on this computer which i guess it won't be possible is what i guess in which case as you can see the gpt os 20 billion parameters is writing all this code and it is reasonably fast too and if i go ahead and click on this button right here that is wi-fi option and even if i turn off wi-fi like this still as you can see everything works and the interesting thing is that if you're on the fly if you don't have internet access once you have downloaded the model in lm studio or let's say olama you can start using it completely for free even without having internet access so that's yet another cool thing i know maybe i can stop this chat for now i can create let's say a new chat and this time around i'll go ahead and ask a tricky question that is how many hours are there in the word strawberry so i can go ahead and say how many are in the word strawberry and now i'll hit enter and let's see if it is able to get it right so we have like three hours in the word strawberry and the word contains three letters yeah that works so that is there and now this is how you locally install gpt oss on your computer and start using it completely for free and that too without any internet connection and if you want to you can also view the reasoning or thinking process by expanding this option right here as well and now if you want to change the reasoning effort so basically as i mentioned earlier it has three modes we have low medium high so it basically mentions the intensity of the reasoning process so if you put it at high it will go through an extensive researching or let's say reasoning process before giving you an answer and again if you're using lm studio and if you click on this button right here you will be able to configure and connect plugins and mcp servers to lm studio as well so yeah that's basically the flow of adding gpt oss 20 billion parameters and if you want to install and try out let's say the 120 billion parameter variant you have options for that too you simply have to install the same in lm studio but you'll have to make sure you have a capable computer that have all the resources to run that particular model and now if i head over to open ai's website and if i go to the open models page and scroll down i'll be able to find the model performance and comparison to open ai 03 and 04 mini and as you can see all these benchmark results are reasonably close and yeah that's there so basically you're getting a performance similar to OpenAI 03 and OpenAI 04 mini model with the GPT OS's 120 billion parameters and 20 billion parameters variant and yeah if you want to read more information you can find that in this page right here so basically the flow is that you open lm studio you search for the gpt oss variant click the download button and once downloaded you can start using it right away so and the best part you don't need any internet access or you don't have to pay anything and if you prefer to use it in olama you have options for that too maybe i can open it up so here i have opened olama and if i click on this drop down menu towards the bottom i'll be able to select the model so in this case let's say i want to use let's say the gpt oss 120 billion parameter variant just in case if you have a computer that can support this one you can select the same and you start with by sending a message like this and now it will start downloading the model and as you can see the size is around 60.8 gb so that is basically how you use it and yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video so open ai is finally open and it is not closed anymore and this right here is their first open source variant which is gpt oss i know if you don't want to install it on your computer but want to use it you can head over to gpt-oss.com and select the variant and also reasoning level and start using it in here as well so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one